Stop me if you heard this before, but we have heavy rain, gusty winds, coastal flooding all coming with this storm. And yeah, it's the third time this month we've been seeing something like this. It's meteorologist Joe Martucci. Good to be with you here. Let's take you through another December soaker. Now, the good news with this storm is it won't be as impactful as last week's storm, but there will still be some things to talk about. So we have roadway and river flooding possible with one to three inches of rain likely. This is certainly heavy rain, but remember last week and even a week before that, we saw amounts over four and five inches of rain. Winds will be gusty, 40 to 50 miles an hour. Sure, some tree branches will get knocked over. The inflatable Santas will get knocked over too if they're not deflated, but I'm not expecting thousands of customers without power like we saw last week. And then there will be dense fog at the shore Wednesday during the day. And then we have tidal flooding Thursday for an hour or two between 6 a.m. to noon. Now, here's that rain. It's fairly light and scattered for the morning, but it becomes heavier and steadier, especially after dark, where we are talking about a windswept rain. Tough to be driving out there. If you do have to drive, just give yourself some extra time here. Then as we go towards the early morning on Thursday, the heavy rain finally gets out. I think by 4 o'clock, we're pretty much dry. Still a lingering shower through sunrise. And then Thursday... Those showers should stay to the north of us. We'll have some drizzle. We'll have some sprinkles, but it's going to be pretty similar to Tuesday in terms. It just looks like it wants to rain all day, but really it's going to be a fairly dry day. Temperatures on Thursday in the 50s, so above average for this time of the year. Let's take a look at your temperatures for your Wednesday. Hey, we're in the 50s for most of it here. Average high right around 46, 47 degrees, so we are above average. And over at the shore, we'll be in the 50s as well. Then after we get past this storm, let's show you what's going to happen here. We'll get waves of colder air to move in. One comes just in time for the New Year's weekend. This really won't make it cold, but it'll make it more typical for late December into early January. Then as we get past the new year, we get another shot of colder air to come in. This should send us below average. So think maybe upper 30s or around 40 for high temperatures as we kick off 2024. And then what's going to happen is we get another round to pretty much reload and come into the area. You see those whites on your screen and the northern parts of what is Ontario and Quebec. That, if it does make its way our way, that would be talking about some real cold where highs don't even get above 32 degrees. So we'll see how that happens and how it shakes down over the next couple of days. You can check out my snow search video, which will come out later on Wednesday as we talk about that. So here's a look at our inland seven day. 50s for the rest of this week, and then we're 40s from the weekend into the new year here. If you are celebrating on New Year's Eve Saturday night, maybe you're going to catch some of the fireworks outside in Atlantic City. Just a typical wintertime garb will be all here. Fairly seasonable end to the year and a fairly seasonable start to 2024.